Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. This is Pass Gas, the game show where the rules are made up and the points don't matter. Of course, Pass Gas is an acronym English for Pen Acquisition Syndrome and Gear Acquisition Syndrome. And this is where fountain pen freaks come to feel normal and to get their pen geek on. Finish your oatmeal, son. Why bother? I'm just a freak. A freak! Today's episode has two purposes. One, to share what I'm planning for pen videos over the next few weeks, and two, to vent and decompress after a particularly intense fountain pen feeding frenzy on Etsy and Facebook yesterday. Come see Bottomless Pete, nature's cruelest mistake. Come for the freak. Stay for the food. Be forewarned, I'm not wearing pants. A news reporter went live on the air without wearing pants. He didn't really mean for anyone to see he wasn't wearing pants. So, let's get our virtual pen geek on right now. <laughs> Let's begin with the second part first because it will help me calm down from yesterday's pen mania. If you have no freaking idea what I'm on about, you're missing out on one of the coolest, weirdest, most frustrating and adrenaline pumping experiences a fountain pen addict can have. I'm speaking of the dropping of a new model fountain pen on Etsy yesterday morning by Pen BBS. The pen I'm referring to is the Pen BBS 355. If you are unfamiliar with this pen, let me fill you in. As I understand it, this model of Pen BBS pen appeared roughly a year ago and was also the subject of a buying frenzy akin to what I experienced yesterday. This is my 355. It was gifted to me by a viewer. I'll call him Sam because he doesn't want to be identified, but I'm forever in his debt. The finish on this one is called Aurora, and it's one of the premium finishes that Pen BBS produces. I have a couple of videos featuring this particular pen, and you can see my review right here. And I'll link the others in the description below. This is a syringe filler, and this early model had some issues with the mechanism, which has caused some frustrations among users. A few weeks ago, Biney, the official Pen BBS store manager, dropped some hints that Pen BBS would be releasing an improved version of the 355 with a new mechanism. The Facebook group Taste the Rainbow is all over things like this and spread the news like wildfire. Biney continued to tease us with photos of the filling mechanism and some of the finishes that might be available, including the premium finishes Galaxy, Niangao, and the always rare and highly sought after Amber is a Cat. There was some speculation that these new models would drop on Etsy on Wednesday, the day before yesterday. At the same time, one of my viewers alerted me that the new 355 had appeared on eBay. I took a look and noticed one of the finishes I was looking for was available, the Misty Mountains. Now I've missed out before when hesitating and hovering over the buy now button only to see the stock disappear while it was sitting in my cart. So I pulled the trigger on it and I also sent the vendor a note saying if he didn't actually have the stock in his possession and couldn't ship immediately that I wanted to cancel the order. It was shipped the next day. Terrific. Wednesday came and went with no pen drop on Etsy. Thanks to the Taste the Rainbow moderator, I now have an app on my phone that pings me whenever Biney puts up new stock. I was up early on Thursday morning at 6 a.m. Nothing. I rolled over and snoozed. 7 a.m. Nothing. More snoozing. I awoke with a start at 8.30 as my phone pinged me. The frenzy had started. I ran downstairs to my laptop in my robe. No pants. Leonard. What? My mom bought me those pants. And started the wild refresh, 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 refresh. Be enough and shared the real-time comments with the Facebook group. I made a newbie mistake by putting the new finish Peacock 323 in my cart and then went looking for a nib charm. By the time I returned to my checkout, it was sold out. Holy schmeck! It was like five minutes. The following hour of watching finish after finish appear and disappear, waiting for one that I wanted, was exhilarating. 
I was acutely aware that I was part of a toilet paper, Black Friday, door crashing, totally insane feeding frenzy, but I was swept away. My wife fed me tea and toast and shook her head in quiet consternation at her previously intelligent husband, turning into a gibbering mass of avarice, pounding away at my refresh button and muttering to myself as I waited for the pen finish of my desires, Niangao, to show up. Would it show up? I don't have a Niangao. I've never seen a Niangao finish pen BBS for sale even. Refresh, 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 refresh. Then a Galaxy 355 showed up. Oh my god. I love Galaxy. I have three. Do I need a 355 in Galaxy? Had I planned to purchase a 355 in Galaxy? No. Did I buy the Galaxy? In a heartbeat I bought that sucker. Now I have two 355s on the way. Immediate buyer's remorse. Oh my god, I just spent my Niangao money. I didn't have time to think that conundrum through because, you guessed it, the Niango showed up. Click, click, buy now, check out, okay, yes, I got it. Niango showed up again. Now, Biney usually adds the fine nibs first. They are my favorites, as those of you that follow me already know. But this time, Biney posted the medium nib first, and I bought it. Two minutes later, with the Niango with my beloved fine nib shows up. Mother Puss Bucket! Mother Puss Bucket! Good thing I had purchased the fine nib charm when I got the galaxy. So problem is solved. Until we meet again and the kiss is solved. Kiss is solved, you idiot. We were getting to the end of the pen drop. The last 355 to drop. And it's, you guessed it, Amber is a cat. Did I need another Amber as a cat? No, I have four. No, I didn't need one. Had I planned on getting the highest price finish pen BBS cells? No, I already had three 355s on the way. Did I buy the Amber as a cat 355? You bet your sweet pen loving ass I did. It's amazing how you rationalize these things when you're in feeding frenzy mode. Will this pen be available later? Doubtful. Would I be able to sell this pen and get what I paid for it in the future? Probably. Is it my birthday? Yeah, it's my birthday. Is life short? Yes. Buy the pen. I bought the pen. The next day, the Facebook group is full of day after Christmas conversations. What'd you get? What'd you get? I got three of these and I got four of those. Oh my God, I missed out on my favorite finish. Who here got more than one of this finish and are willing to swap or sell? Oh my God, why did I buy all these pens? I'm going on a pen diet. Tomorrow. Of course, the final letdown after the buyer's remorse dissipates is that Pen BBS goes on a week vacation starting the moment the pens dropped on Etsy. And shipping won't even begin until May 6th. So, now the long wait begins. Plus the competition about who gets theirs first. I know my eBay purchase has been shipped, but these days, that's no guarantee that it will arrive in under two months. So that was my first pen BBS feeding frenzy. It was exhilarating and nauseating at the same time. Will I do it again? You bet your pen loving ass I will. And that is a preview of four pen reviews that will be coming your way sometime in oh, July, August. Look, I'm your friend. I'm here to please you. Trust me, I know what you want. The previews, the coming attractions. Now let's look at some of the things that are on the agenda in the next few weeks. I have two more of the Fully Wen fountain pens Joel Terrell generously donated for review and to give away. Next Wednesday, I'll be giving away number four of five with this Fully Wen orange. This is a very unique pen. I'll be writing with this over the weekend and give you my opinion on Wednesday. The following Wednesday will be the final Fully Wen Freebie Fountain Pen. Say that ten times fast. The final fr Freebie, final Fully Wen Freebie Fountain Pen. Never mind. This is the Fully Wen 815 Retro Silver, and it's the most unusual of the entire group. Has this really cool tubular nib. I should also mention and congratulate subscriber Agradoville for winning the first Fully Wen world map. 
this one here. And Robert Reed for winning the Fully Wen 826 Orange. You all have until May 6th at midnight Pacific time to subscribe and add a comment to enter the Fully Wen 2037. I asked everyone to tell me the titles of the cutaways in my videos as a bit of fun to go with the contest. That is a bit unfair to those viewers in the regions of the world where this Western popular culture is unknown. So please feel free to add any comment and you'll be entered. I've been doing that all along anyway. If someone's comment showed up where they don't answer the quiz or they got the answers wrong, they'd win anyway. This is all for fun, no stress. I might actually continue the giveaway streak by adding a couple of these Orienta student pens that Joel gave me. They're all piston fillers and have the most unique folded nib. You can see my review of the original pen right here. I gave the original away and then Joel sent me four more. I gave one of those four away as well and have been contacted by a few of you about wanting to buy these. I couldn't sell them, but I can give them away. So that leaves me with two to give away. Stay tuned to see when that happens. Also coming up, I have two more of my friend Ron's pens to review. One is this beautiful cross radiance with a gold plated steel nib. And then there is this unusual and beautiful Elise, Elise with a 14 karat gold nib, which is very unusual in shape. And I believe this pen is from the 70s. And then there are some pens that I've ordered and are being held somewhere in quarantine between here and China. My Moonman T2 for one. Everyone seems to have received theirs about two weeks ago. And I ordered mine on March 15th. It has left China twice, once in March and once in April, and has yet to land on the continent. I also purchased a couple of Jinhao 51As. I wanted to compare them to my Hero 616. Plus they were inexpensive and had some really cool acrylics. One of them looks similar to Niangao. We'll have to see which shows up first. Also, finally, I found an available Fully Wen 017. I hesitated on this pen when everyone else was receiving and enthusing over them. I wasn't convinced I'd like this pen, but Chris gave it a very high rating and Kathy at Gadget Stop 321 was really enthusiastic about hers. By the time I was convinced to buy one, they were gone. And they were gone for quite a while. I had the search out for weeks and finally snagged one. I have no idea when it might arrive, but I've got an extra Pen BBS Waverly Fine Nib standing by just waiting to be swapped in. So there you have it. Pass gas for another exciting week in virtual fountain pen land. At least it keeps me off the street and out of the grocery store lines. Thanks to my kids, I'm staying safe at home and well supplied. Thanks to all of you, I'm staying entertained and creative. Thank you all for watching. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell to get an instant notification of a new video. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you again for watching. And that's all she wrote.